So here we are once again with my dog making noise in the background. Chances are he's going to want to go out in the garden because he always does when I'm filming or he'll want to come on my lap or just keep making these little noises at me. But there we go. What's a Kerry Williams video without my dog interrupting it and being a pain? Can you hear that? It's like a tin. He's playing with a tin because he's decided to hide his water bowl. And so we've given him his water in a sandwich bowl. So he drank some of it and then he's just yeeted it over the floor, the water, because that's what he loves to do. But hey ho, there we go. Hi, I'm Kerry Williams and I'm a woman on a mission to help as many people as possible to uncover their passions and discover their life purpose. This is Dreamers, Setters and Go-Getters. Right, so this week we are talking about imposter syndrome. There's something I attempted to film a video on last week. It didn't go well. I attempted to film at the beginning of this week. Also didn't go well, so I'm filming it today. So what is imposter syndrome? Basically, imposter syndrome is a, um, a psychological disorder, I suppose you could say, um, where you don't feel like you are good enough. You feel like you're a fraud you feel like, who are you to be doing this? Whenever you get any sort of success or, or achieving any great things, that sort of th thing. Um, celebrities have a lot of imposter syndrome. It's actually quite like famous, famous celebrities, mostly women. I think women do tend to get imposter syndrome more than men because I think that's just the way that things are. Men have kind of, again, I don't want to feel like I'm hating on men, but, um, Men very much throughout history have kind of not had to put in quite the effort that women have to get the recognition. So it is understandable that we are going to feel a bit more frauds because that's just the way that we have kind of been treated. So, um, again, not hating on men too much there. I'll probably cut this out. Who knows? But anyway, um, people in particular that I noticed when I was researching for this video that suffer from imposter syndrome. And th this was a really huge one to me. Um, Michelle Obama. Now, if you go on to my uh, Instagram, my Facebook, you'll see I'm going to put a quote up. In fact, when this video goes up, probably on the same day, there'll be a quote from Michelle Obama about her um, imposter syndrome. But yeah, even she doesn't think she's good enough. Look, she's going to be found out for being a fraud. Who's she to do this? Um, another few people I saw, um, I didn't put the quote up. I, I mean, I won't be putting the quote up. But uh, Maya Angelou was one who constantly felt like an imposter, which is, is crazy. It's Maya Angelou. Um, Lady Gaga. Meryl Streep, who else does he? Jodie Foster, um, really famous, successful people. I'm sure I've heard some of that Oprah also. Oprah also feels like she is an imposter and she is a fraud and she's going to be found out at some point. So if you're feeling this, chill, you're not alone. It's quite normal. However, it's not right. You shouldn't be feeling it. It's not fair. So I've got five powerful ways that you can tackle your imposter syndrome. Number one, identify that it is imposter syndrome you're feeling. Now, this is the first step. I mean, this is the first step, step with most things. Most problems you have is identify that you actually have a problem. Um, I think it's, I'm really sorry. He's so noisy. You might just have to deal with that. He's stopped, I hope, for the time being. Might just have to take the bowl off him. But then he'll run around and can I be bothered with to chase him? No. We'll try again, so. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, so identify that you have actually got imposter syndrome to begin with. Um, and then obviously once you've identified you've got it, you can you can tackle it. It's like addictions. I think a big part of um, acknowledging if you're an alcoholic. So recovering from being at, or treating the fact that you are an alcoholic is to identify first that you are an alcoholic. It's the same with drug addictions and even stuff like giving up smoking, which I know is actually a drug addiction. Um, giving up smoking, you have to reach that point where you go enough. I can't be dealing with this anymore. I've, had, I've got a problem. I can't actually quit as easy as I thought I would be able to. So that's the first step in, I'm gonna have to sort this, I'm sorry. The dog man, the dog. Right, so uh, number two is to reframe your thoughts surrounding imposter syndrome. Um, oh, I hate doing this because I feel really, really, really cheeky for doing, not cheeky, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a little bit shameful for doing this. Uh, and I, again, I think that's quite normal. Oh, it could be me, my own imposter syndrome, who, who knows? But once again, my Mindset Reset Toolkit is free. Um, it's now up on Udemy. It's actually a video series I've got on there now rather than just the workbook. You still get the workbook. You still get the um, 
the growth mindset visualization with it. Um, all the stuff you got before, but it's now in a video series so you can sit and watch them. They've also got the audio files so you can put the, just save the audio files onto your phone or whatever and listen to it. But it's on Udemy. Uh, the link is in the description below. The link is in my bio, depending on which way you're looking at this. So there'll be a link to it. But right, so in the Mindset Reset Toolkit um, is an entire section on your cognitive distortions and um, how you can you have your your mind thinks a certain way, which is incorrect. It's a cognitive it is a cognitive bias. Um, the way you can identify that and replace it with an alternate thought, um, which is very very helpful with imposter syndrome to identify what the issue you're actually getting there, why you're feeling the way you are, and how you can change it. So reframing your thoughts around imposter syndrome and realizing actually you are worth it, um, you should have this success because you're working hard for it is a really, really important thing to do when you are overcoming imposter syndrome. So there we go, try that one. Number three, get support. Get support from friends, family, loved ones, same sort of thing, but they'll know what you're capable of. They're not in your head. They're not gonna look at you and go, oh, well, you know, obviously you can't do this, it's you, because they love you. Okay, so you might have some family members that, that do that, I have. Um, <laughs> they, eventually they, they do start to come around and they do see the effort you're putting in on something and um, do start backing you. But, oh, I just noticed my tea in the background. I'm going to be so British now. I'm going to drink my tea. And on that note, can we just appreciate? <laughs> I got this in Disneyland, Paris. Of course, it's the other way around. I have this in mirror image, but it has a K for Kerry. And I love it. And my tea started to go cold. That's not a good thing. I wasn't happy about that. <laughs> I want hot tea, unsurprisingly. And I, you know, you don't want hot tea. My dog can drink it cold. What am I talking about? Anyway, so um, if you have family that are very supportive, friends that are very supportive, maybe even colleagues that are very supportive, if you're trying to change something in your life for the better, um, there, speak to them. Speak to them about how you're feeling because they will be able to reassure you that actually you're not a fraud, you're not an imposter. A great word that came up in this was imposterism, which I freaking love the word imposterism and I don't even know why. But um, speak to them. They'll improve things for you. They'll make you see the reality of it because they see you as you. They don't see you as what you're seeing yourself as. This kind of mess in your own head and this, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A cauldron of uh, unworthiness that you see yourself as being. That was a weird reference, but there we go. And uh, number four, practice self-care and make sure you get enough rest and relaxation. I cannot stress this enough. You, I was going to say it again, I said it I think in last week's video, but I'm saying it again. You are the only person who has this body. You are the only person who has this mind. That's it. No one else. This is all you're getting. You're only going to have this body and this mind in your life. So take the time to look after it, because if you don't have that it working in best order it can be because you haven't looked after yourself, you might as well just give up because, and I don't often say this, but you're going to get to a point if you don't look after yourself, where you're going to get ill and you won't be able to do anything and then you'll be feeling like an even bigger failure because you won't be able to do the things that you wanted to do because you're too ill to do them. You're going to get ill from time to time granted but even if you do get ill just take the time out take the time to rest recover just look after yourself and number five celebrate your successes oh you know me I love a good celebration I love celebrating anything any excuse for a party or going out with people socializing or even just things like going and getting having a meal out or even just getting yourself a chocolate that you love or having a nice bubble bath with lovely music just anything you feel like you are um, celebrating basically just do it on every little step of the way on your journey because it just makes it so much more fun so much more um, doable if you're doing that the dog's about to jump up on my lap give me a second come on then here's Loki he wants to be in the video now. <laughs> oh, muffin. Loki, look, look. Oh, there we go. 
I know, I know. So yes, yeah, celebrate your successes. So those were five powerful ways that you can tackle your imposter syndrome. As always, I hope you have an amazing week and I hope that um, you do these things if you are suffering from imposter syndrome. Don't forget, every Monday I have my um, Onwards and Upwards in 2023 free goal setting work. Sorry, the dog's right by the mic, so if you can, he's sniffing the mic. Um, so if you struggle with finding your passions and knowing what goals you want to set, then please, please come and join me on there. The link is in my bio or in the description. And um, I hope you have a great week. The dog's going to eat my hand now. Bye.